Hello and welcome. We are going to do a video going through the missions that are part of the Tales of the Shipwrecked Mariner. A couple years ago, Standing Stone Games added a new option to this annual event. Vaguely a wink and a nod to Talk Like a Pirate Day, which was September 19th. And it was pretty basic uh, in this event. You go up to the you go up, talk to the guy in the river, collect kegs of cram in these waterlogged crates of wine, take them back down to the Brandywine Bridge, hand them over, and then you can do that to get some uh, some out oh, a couple of pieces of cosmetics that are pirate themed. Okay, but then they added this uh, this additional thing. In time with the addition of the Mariner class to Lord of the Rings Online. And so we're going to play through this. These are mission style adventures created. So you're just going to do a quick, you know, talkie mission. Then come back out. Go back in. Uh, for those who do like the regular fighting. These do not count toward the weekly mission wrappers or any of that. It's its own self-contained thing. Uh, so it's kind of like the Further Adventures of Bilbo, the Further Adventures um, in the game, but not exactly the same. So let's uh, let's begin. Let me turn my nameplates on so you can see who I am. I'm on the Angmar server doing this, so we're going to see how it plays out. This is the first year, uh, well, this is the first time Angmar was around for this, so this will be fun. <clears throat> Oi there, friend. The man winces as he speaks. I should have known better, and not done what I'd done. He manages a weak smile through the pain. Alas, the call of the waves and the way of the water made me a fool, it seems, for the last time. He coughs. Could you spare a moment for a stranger to hear the tale of his life, so that he m someone might know of me, and so I may not just end up as some corpse to wash the mighty brandy wine? Call me Falnavar. In my youth, long ago now, I had no love for land or leisure. I was a tough and brutish lad who spent more time with ruffians than I ought. Minas Tirith, while only a league or so away from my home in Lossarnock, was a place of waste in my eyes. The steward saw fit to keep up his city while the outer lands fell to ruin and despair. There was no escape for a boy like myself that was not on the water. He looks to the river nearby. Apologies. <coughs> I've always, I was always taken by the flow of water, and the river Erui provided me the only measure of joy I knew in my youth. My friends and I would build rafts from driftwood or barrels, and tumble down the waters toward mighty Anduin. It was harmless fun. We would make a trip, steal a ride on a cart heading back toward Lossernock, or just steal a horse outright and sell it to the farrier who would sell it again. As a scoundrel, a scoundrel I was, and in a crowd of others with like minds and desires, to leave the land and sail the sea beneath the stars above. Yes, yes, I'm seeing it all so clearly now. I do not want to miss a thing. He closes his eyes for a moment, then speaks hoarsely. Near my fifteenth summer, I decided I would travel away from Lossernock. My mother and father protested. They desired I remain in our hovel, tilling soil for the magistrates who ran our village from afar. I did not care for the nobles. What had they offered me and mine? But the people, the people who grew crops, made swords, and kept the promise of tomorrow alive. I cared for them. A paradox of beliefs, my father would say. I left my hamlet and found another, not far to the south where I worked under the employ of a farrier, a smith, a tailor. I was searching for my place, you see. I did not find it while tending fields or hammering iron. I did not find it in careful study or stitching cloth. It was only when I looked heavenward toward the stars and heard the waters that my heart sang and was free. There is a tale of sailors long ago who settled the lands of Gondor. I know little of the truth of those tales, but I know that I was born with a sailor's heart. It was in a small tavern. 
Ethering is the name of the town. Another night of libations to clear the dirt from our throats. This life, my friend, is lacking. How I yearn for something beyond the dust of the road or the fires of a smith's shop. Where is adventure and wonder? He pauses, looking sullen. Youth is wasted on wonder. When in our more, most fruitful years, we are tied to the land, then to a partner, and then to children. What nonsense. That life is not for me. I want more. I want wonder. I want every day to forego the rote mechanics of life and be new and inspiring. I want to never know what lay on the other, other side of the horizon. Alas, I am but me. You are but you, and we are, together, are merely laborers with a few coppers between us to seek our wonder at the bottom of a mug. Come, let us enjoy the night before I grow too grim. What's this? A recruitment poster. Gondor expects, and Gondor must not and will not be disappointed. Recruits wanted to serve on the seas against the threat of the south, out of the south. Pay, food, glory, and honor await those who would serve the people of Gondor. Make your mark at the Nenglor in Pelargir Harbor. For the people of Gondor, yes. I see the merit in that. But our stewards are degenerate and never leave the safety of Minas Tirith. When was it that they last set foot outside the White City? He scoffs and looks around toward the bar. The innkeep must have known of our arrival. Come, my friend. Let us toast to our lives as they are and never shall be. Maybe I'm too hasty to dismiss that offer. After all, there is something to be there is something to serve in the people of Gondor and not the corrupt leaders who reach into our pockets for coin and extract their price in blood. Is it then that I fear my strength would be wasted? Not on hoisting sails, but on spreading pitch to patch the leaks? Would we perhaps learn better the skills of swordmen, so that we are not skewered on the blade of some corsair? Or would we be a sacrifice in early battle so our captain could gain advantage and keep our coin? I think, I fear that I'd be under the heel of a terrible captain who wants only glory and not the thing they try to sell in that post. Listen to me ramble. I am sorry, friend. I fear I am in a grim state tonight. Let us lighten the mood. A toast to kinship and the friends who travel the road that rises to meet us on our journey. A sound of plunderers echoed in the tavern. The flagons were not meant for us after all. We best be prepared to draw weapons, friend. They're from Umbar and the very corsairs that threaten Gondor. You fight well. You should consider joining my crew. You just saw firsthand the menace that Umbar presents. Come down to the harbor on the morrow and speak with me. I did not expect any of this tonight, my friend. Perhaps come the morning I may visit the ship and speak with this captain. I've never been so exhilarated. When morning came, I stood in front of the captain and pledged an oath to serve Gondor and the steward of Denethor, who sat at our king's stead. He manages a smile, remembering this long-distant honor. I left my life on the land with nothing but my haversack, the clothes on my back, and a sword worn thin from being sharpened too many times over. It was on my first tour at Pelargir that we met Yarrick for the first time. Our ship was moored at the dockyard after a short trip into the Bay of Belfast, 
While we slept at the barracks, the Corsair ship crept up the river and dropped their raiders in the western part of the city. They intended to capture and enslave the populace. They did not expect to encounter us. Being defenders of Gondor, we pressed ourselves into action. The harbor at Blargear. That always feels so good. Okay, we're gonna hunt them down and scuttle their ships. In that battle against Yarrick, we knew that we would lose. He shakes his head still, as if still in disbelief. I'm still unsure why they fled that night, yet they did, and that spurred the captain to scour the seas for years to come. Our patrols on the water took us west into the Bay of Belfast, sometimes into the Great Sea. We never ventured far enough south to threaten Umbar, but the corsairs from the south would trespass into Gondorian waters often. He stares beyond you to the sky. Once we spied a ship moored off the coast of Tolthalas with its sail drawn down. We recognized it at once as Yarrick's ship. Our captain set us to task to set us to task as we made our way to intercept the Corsair crew on the island. We corner them. It will say that a lot uh, when we are 
uh, doing these uh, quests because uh, these areas are not technically open on Angmar and Mordor yet and will be for quite some time. Why is it snowing? I don't understand. Okay. Keep your courage. We have the enemy where we want them. Along the shore are their launches. If we move swiftly, we can strand them here and send word back to the capital that there's a crew of Corsairs stuck on Tolfalas. Make your way along the shore and scuttle the launches you find. I will stay here and await your return. Make me do all the work. Alright, we're going to walk along the shore. See if they're on this side. Well, there they are, right here. Find and defeat Yarrick and his crew. One of 24. Oh, there's a lot of them. So let's start nuking Corsairs, shall we? That's never not fun, I'm just saying. So it makes me wonder how nobody looked out a window up here, right? And did nobody notice that these guys were here? Why was that? Why is that? Oh, we missed this one guy. Well, he's about to get his butt whooped. Well, he wasn't here. That's foreboding.
I just have to remember Ring of Fire appears right in front of me, but the other ones I can uh, focus based on where the bad guy is. <clears throat> I forgot these guys respawned. Not bad. Alright, Captain. What you got? They were too numerous. The captain looked out on the longboat, retreating toward the Corsair ship. There will be time for redemption. There will be time for vengeance. We thought we had them. We did. But the cunning Corsairs used weapons we had never seen to shatter the shore and cover their escape in the, our longboats. Dark look spreads across Valnavar's face. The captain was vexed and vowed to bring the Corsair Marauder to justice. Our time ashore, always brief, allowed for little adventure. I did not desire adventure in those days, only camaraderie. When the captain, who had taken a liking to me only a few years ago in a tavern, and I became dearest friends. It was a cool night. It was a dark and stormy night. When I was a boy, I was a ruffian. I fit in nowhere, much like you have confided of your early days. Ah, but then I found the sea. There on the waves was freedom. There, beneath the endless blanket of the sky, was life. There was no substitute for what it offered, no greater joy. Dawn wakes over the horizon, drawing all from their slumber. The rocking of the waves give way to the bustle and commotion of boots on the deck. The promise of a new day, new adventure, new wealth, and new shores. Something new at every turn. There is no course that is set but the one you make. That is the life I covet and seek. Alright, supposed to smoke with the captain. A nice hammock in the corner to snooze in. It's a little bit low to the ground though when you sit in it, it's gonna go plump right on the floor. All noble pursuits, young one, and in time you shall see them come to pass. For now, my friend, we, sh we should both be content in the knowledge that we are friends. We have fought and bled together. We have saved people in Gondor and beyond. We safeguard their future by our very actions. Ours is a noble pursuit. We should never think otherwise. On the morrow, we sail again into the Bay of Belphalos. Let us hope that our quarry, this Yarik, makes his presence known, that we might finally end his reign of terror on the good people of our land. The night grows old, my friend. Let us rest while we can, and launch, we launch at dawn's first light. Let us see, together, what that new day holds for us. Our future was not set, but I knew I had earned the respect of a man whom I greatly respected. We set back to sail. I was named his second. It was on a routine patrol at the tip of Andras where we next encountered Yarik and his ship again, anchored, with a launch of smaller boats along the shore. He had captured villagers in an earlier raid, and we were to free the prisoners. The captain devised a plan to keep our men aboard our vessel to attack the Corsair ship, well, we made our way to the shore to deal with the captain and his crew. <sighs> if only we had known. <laughs> we set our launches in the sea. And this is Hashadir. And Dull Amrith is up that away. No alarm, no warning, no soul watching over their only means of escape to their ship. We shall not make the same mistake we, as we did before. Leave their boats. The prize is the captain of these curs and him alone. Move swift into the camp. Free the prisoners they have captured and put an end to them. Go swiftly. You can almost say you're asking to free the prisoners and put an end to the prisoners. The same. Okay. Let's go save people. I find it fascinating. There's the moon. 
don't think the moon is actually moving. No, he's stationary. But it does look like the starscape itself is not stationary. As usual. Okay. Okay, that guy's not supposed to be there. At one thirty six. So as long as we can avoid the other dude, I can save all the prisoners. And let him do his patrol. And I'm pretty sure that's been bugged. I remember somebody mentioning it once. Somebody added a little one to things. Turn to the captain. We'll do that by avoiding Mr. I've got a one in the wrong place. Because he should be level 36, not 136. Now what? What have I done? I have failed them all. I have lost my ship. I have lost it all. We saved the prisoners and dispatched the enemy on the shore, but the crew Yarrick left ashore was no true fighting force. They were a decoy, a trap set by Yarrick. We had fallen into the trap, and our ship Nanglor and all her crew was the price we paid for our hubris. Bound to land, we started our journey back toward Anfalas to report. Those we rescued were burdensome, but duty bound us to protect us, and so we did. The wilder lands of Onphalos proved a challenge, but we made our way to the nearest port, reported into the authorities. We received a reprimand and were forced to return to Pelargir to aid in the construction of our new ship. We set about rebuilding. I 
I've set most of the crew to their tasks, but there are some duties that must be handled by the only individual I truly trust. I've secured the assistance of a map ma maker who confided they can provide a passage where we must go. I will require this of you. You will find the map stashed among a sheaf of papers near an empty stall near the dock across from our ship's bow. Second, there is a matter of some illicit materials formerly owned by the Corsairs who raided this city some time hence. I will have it procured by no other. It should be under the watchful eye of a healer, no less, along the alley near the opposite dock. Collect this and bring it to me. Last, we need new blood on the ship, and that can only mean we post our letters throughout the immediate area. Take these and post them where it seems the will best be seen. Anyway, away now. There's much left to do. Okay. Come and join our crew! I missed a spot somewhere. I don't know if we're allowed to go across this bridge. Nope. Alright. Must be on the docks themselves, maybe? Something was different. The jovial nature was gone. There was a curtness in the voice. The manner was prescriptive. You should have known that something had changed. So I find this interesting that it actually is giving you more details if you read the quest log. Interesting. Now I kind of want to go back and look at the other ones.
So basically, you will want to go back and read the entire mission log. Okay, so we need to go back to these and look at them in order. Pardon me. Often he would be like this jovial, open, a warm companion. I listened quietly and drew on my pipe. It was my turn to speak. He listened intently and responded. It was on their first tour that the mariner and the crew of the Nanglor discovered a terrible enemy. The town I was recruited was under assault and not for the first time. Directed us to save the town and save the inhabitants who were taken. So the town folks were saved. The crew returned to discover them. Okay. Okay, so basically I need to pay attention to these as I'm doing them. Alright, so I need to find the map. Where did he say it was again? He doesn't actually say. There's one more place I need to post a recruitment thing. So I need to get to where that needs to go. how there's the secret map. All of them now at the ready, then we should set about our final preparation. Yes, it is time to seek our vengeance and bring those curs to heal. He said, so only a few months after being shorebound, I noticed it then a change in the captain. All right. So that was... Something else. Oh well, we'll continue. Oh, Shorebound was the name of the quest. Back to the sea, we set sail south to my protestation. The captain presses us beyond South Gondor. We crossed past the river Harnan. We spoke in private about his, atten his intent. We were in strange waters. Okay, before we do that, let me see if I can find Yeah, 
that one didn't appear here. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it. Confronting me away from the crew was smart, friend. There is an undertone of menace to the word friend. I knew you would recognize the portents in the sky. This new crew, so trusting. I ask you, would they have sailed with me had I not promised them wealth? Did they know I gave away one crew already? That the brigand we now chase across the sea has dismantled me so that I seek only his destruction to fill the void that now fills the space where once my heart had been? Nay, friend. Less menacing this time. Do not tell me to be calm, he spits vehemently. What I need from you is strength. I need your strength of spirit and arm. You alone understand the terror wrought upon the first Nanglor. What we lost. I will not be pitied. I will have my vengeance for those who were wrong. I will pursue this quarry like the dog he is till the very end of the world if I must. I will not be deterred. I will not be dissuaded by reason or ridicule. There is only one payment that will sate me, and it is blood. I know my mind. I do. The captain calmed down. This map, containing only four points, four spokes, is but thin parchment, and yet mightier than the halyard that hoists our sails to drive to our quarry. Out there, beyond the depths that swallowed my brethren whole and drove them deep down into the deep, there is an enemy in need of reckoning, and by the stars above I will set right the course of our history. Should, I, should we be complacent instead? Should we not revisit upon this enemy the, some, the same sentence they pass on men and women earning their wage? He shakes his head violently. The captain sighs deeply. It is not madness that consumes me. It is grief. It is humiliation. Twice this scoundrel evades my capture, and the last... He cuts himself short and offers a sob. So many dead. So many under my command. I let the tears speak in that moment. <clears throat> I feared for my friend. I feared for our crew. More... I feared for the safety of our land if the captain's obsession continued. If the storm that had not blown in and damaged our sails, we would have started a war. Now, as soon as it said captain's obsession, I knew that this was a retelling of a very famous tale about a captain who was very obsessed. Under a different cloak, but the same basic notions are here. After five years of service to the land of Gondor, my time at sea was at an end. So too, the captains. It, it were not because I wanted to give up the sea. Strip of our commission for violation of orders and resigned to a miserable life on the land. A crew member spoke with other vessels and informed them of of our near approach to Umbar. Villains. <laughs> the man draws in a labored breath. After that, I was lost. A wry smile had spread on his face. Until I met the captain again a few years later, back in Pilargir, at an inn. I worked there on the docks, and he said he had come looking for me. He told me he discovered the whereabouts of a Corsair ship's treasure in the hills nearby. He asked me to join him in raiding the hideout to claim the treasure. We set out for... Dor and Ernil. Defeat the Corsairs in the cavern. Collect the treasure chest. Well, let's nuke some dudes.
Hi, this will do. Come, let us return to the city so that we can continue. The captain and I returned to Pilar Gear with enough coin to retire comfortably anywhere we wanted. But something greater drove him than the desire for the coin. As we sat in the tavern, he confided his new desire to sail after Yarick and his crew to bring them to justice on our terms. A new ship! The treasure hunting provided enough for a ship and a crew. We sailed from Pelargir and caught sight of Yarik entering Belagir. We pursued him west until a squall blew both of our vessels back toward us, Andras, and the place where our fates had changed. An excited look of wonder glints in his eye. Our ships collided, and our battle was fierce. Fire burned the ships to ash beneath our feet, and we fell into the unforgiving sea, only to wash ashore near the place where we had freed the prisoners but lost our first ship years earlier. This time was different. And I'm cornered in surprise. Hi, I am Abel, though not hardy. Let us not let my injury allow them to escape again, he groans. Press onward. Defeat 16 Corsairs. Alright, I gotta find what's his face. But first, let's go kick some Corsairs while we're at it. worry after me. I would have followed you to the end of the world, my friend. My... The last word is cut short as the man perishes on the sand. <laughs> the captain died there on the shores of the Bay of Belphalos. The captain, my captain, my friend. The water did not claim him as he hoped. He shakes his head forlornly. It was the blade of the enemy he pursued for years, an obsession that cost him his life and me. It nearly cost me my sanity. 
He... The captain gave me gifts precious to me. I kept them with me at all times since his death. Now, here at my own, I seem to have lost them. Do you have the heart to find them, to do what I have lost, to find what I have lost, so that I might have them in my death where the water has claimed me and not a tyrant's blade? Beast is near. Go now. <laughs> the tombs of Evendim. Hod Volandur. Luminous. Modrank. Well. Turn to the entrance. Looking for this, the old man has hunted me across the seas and now the land. Alas, it is his end. The tomb robber is dead. Get back to the mariner. It cannot be. I saw him slain with my own eyes. And now? My friend, I have failed you. We can no longer fight. Look at us. Go. Find that cure, Yarick, and put a final end to the misery he has caused. See him pay for the... He coughs madly, winces, and regains himself. Make him for the pain he he wrought upon my brethren, my crews, my people. Fulfill this wish, the final wish of a dying man. <laughs> Go and find Yark. Bring me the haversack he stole. Okay. Okay. Make your way to the mirror. He has perished. Felnavar is gone. In his hand he holds a crumpled note written on the back of an old of the old recruitment poster. Read the note that you collected from him. To you who listen to my tale, I give you my haversack, provided you retrieved it from Yarrick and his crew. As you likely now know, I am the captain in my tale. My obsessions led me here, not the call of water. 
I came to avenge the death of the boy I recruited and befriended and loved as a son. The horror and the pain of his loss and the death of my cruise is ended. You have given peace and a final kindness to one who likely did not deserve such. I go to my final rest with a mind at ease, a desire fulfilled, the scent of salt in my nose, and the sound of the babbling river to send me to my dreams. Thank you, stranger. And he gives you a pile of clothes. Let's take a look and see what it all looks like. That is the outfit. The backpack doesn't count. It's not in the staff doesn't count. So you get uh, a, a headscarf, uh, a tunic, boots, gloves, and a shoulder rig. And they do die. Let's go take a look and see what they die like. We'll do my traditional air blue and blue. Just to give you an idea. Legs don't count because they don't have legs, separate legs. All right, so that's what the outfit looks like under arid blue and blue. And yeah, that is the the old man in the sea. Now you can redo these every two and a half hours or so. Well, actually, once a day. However, this is today. Uh, is the last day of the event, so um, I have to wait till next year to try it again. Uh, again, thank you for watching the video. If you like this sort of thing, drop a like on the video, and if you like my content, drop a subscribe on the channel to know when a new video goes up. I also do live streams on twitch.tv slash druidsfire, and those videos, the long form ones, wind up here as well on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye now!